good morning children welcome back to the social session children children after uh, completing the uh, europe trip uh, let us come back to a new unit uh, that is a seventh unit uh, actually after europe we need to discuss about africa but africa uh, we have skipped it and we moved on to hand looms and handicrafts so this is a seventh unit children before i begin with the uh, handicrafts and hand looms do you have any idea about what are the handicrafts and what are the hand looms you don't have any idea handy crafts mean the crafts which are prepared by hand baskets which are weaved are called as handicrafts the toys which are prepared by hand are called as handicrafts and uh, you know the cloth cloth can be weaved these are called as uh, hand looms through the looms okay through the hand looms there will be a uh, wooden uh, machine pulling a rope through which they weave the cloth that is called as hand looms so we shall understand these are some of the oldest professions in the country children so in today's lesson we shall see about these handicrafts and hand looms and uh, in order to understand about the handicrafts uh, let us visit uh, one of the basket maker in anandgula so this uh, anandgula is a village which is located in uh, uh, madugula mandala of mahbubnagar district uh, mahbubnagar district is anandgula is a village which is located in mandugula mandal so we have visited a, a person a basket maker called as polaya so this polaya is lives in this area he is about 35 years old and uh, he belongs to yerukala community you know yerukala community so the chebuta anamma so the chebuta the fortune telling the women of this uh, uh, community generally does a uh, uh, fortune telling so this community uh, has been weaving the uh, uh, baskets for many years for generations and bagyamma is his wife so he is a polaya and his wife is a uh, bagyamma and bagyamma his wife also works as a basket maker uh, they have three children this polaya and uh, bagyamma has three children and polaya's father along with uh, 25 other families uh, had come to the city about 30 years ago that is to hyderabad as the demand for baskets have declined uh, in their native villages they uh, they migrated to uh, city and he sells baskets on the pavements of the pavements means on the footpaths of the hyderabad at chadargat in hyderabad and uh, polaya uses the spines of the wild date palm trees you know spines spines date palm trees you know generally in arabia region you find date palms those are trees so those spines are used eeta chettu we call it in telugu those uh, eeta chettu leaves they get dried up to make the baskets they dry it up and they weave these baskets those are wild uh, Uh, spine date uh, wild date palm trees uh, uh, spines are used in making of the baskets uh, and uh, they also use knife to shave them to shave off the leaves and keep them in hot and uh, they keep them in hot sunshine to get dried up the raw material is uh, wild date palm leaves uh, they brought it uh, in bundles from their uh, andugula which is their native village and his relatives in andugula collect these uh, date palm trees Uh, from the bushes around them around their village and sell them to the basket makers like uh, uh, polaya andugula is uh, a village which is located 60 kilometers away from hyderabad and each bundle of date palm uh, spine costs them 120 and polaya and other basket makers uh, usually bring 10 bundles of 10 uh, uh, bundles for 2 months and uh, polaya's family makes 25 baskets from one bundle so how many bundles uh, they bring they bring uh, generally 10 bundles how many bundles they bring whenever they go to andugula they bring 10 bundles and each bundle is 120 rupees and uh, from one bundle uh, how many baskets you can make you can make uh, 25 baskets uh, from each bundle that mean 25 into 10 into 25 that mean 250 baskets you can make from 10 bundles automatically you can make 250 baskets so how much they spent uh, okay 10 into 120 1200 rupees on raw material they have spent that mean in getting the raw material that is a uh, date palm leaves spines uh, uh, they bring it uh, at uh, 120 rupees per bundle and uh, you know children 10 bundles of spines would uh, give them about 250 baskets uh, and it takes 30 minutes to make each basket and he weaves baskets from 10 am to 5 pm daily from morning 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock they keep on making the baskets with a few breaks like uh, eating and uh, taking rest 
Polaya sells each basket at 20 rupees. 250 into 20, now you can imagine how much he makes. So, the customer asks for a, a bigger baskets also for family rituals or any functions are there. And those are sold at a higher price. If there is a, any order, they prepare the big basket. Otherwise, they make the 20 rupees baskets only. So, it depends upon the amount of uh, raw material used. He sells baskets throughout uh, uh, the year. And uh, in two months, he can sell. He sells uh, uh, 5,000 worth of baskets. Uh, okay, 250 into 20, it is 5,000 uh, rupees worth of baskets he sells. The cost of the raw material is 1,200 and he makes uh, 250 into 20, 5,000 rupees. So, for transportation charges, you can exclude 100 rupees for every visit in his village. So, the income of his family is uh, 3,700 rupees for two months. You can imagine that 250 into 20 rupees each basket, he earns 5,000 rupees. From 5,000, he already spent 1,200 rupees. 1,200 rupees. And 100 more rupees for transportation. And his income is 3,700. For two months, this is. For two months, he earns 3,700. That means nearly 1,350 per month. 1,350 rupees he earns per month, which is very meager. He does not earn sufficient uh, money uh, to meet his uh, family expenditure and to supplement uh, the income, Polaya uh, buys and sells bamboo also and uh, products like trays and stands uh, made up of bamboo. Also, he sells on the pavement. Pavement means footpath and the footpath the Polaya keeps on. Polaya and Bagyama. They have three children even. And basket making is a craft work. Okay, it is not easy. You and I cannot uh, make the baskets. It's a craft work that involves the use of uh, wild uh, palm date trees, uh, leaves and bamboo uh, which are found in the forest. And these are uh, the, uh, the these uh, has been depletion. There has been a depletion of uh, date palm trees uh, and forests uh, because of uh, exploitation by the big industries. And uh, this affects the livelihood of the people who are dependent upon uh, them traditionally for years together. Further, the demand for such products uh, also has reduced considerably uh, because of uh, plastic has replaced uh, many of the baskets uh, and uh, these forces them move to uh, urban areas from rural and this is uh, true for many people involved in traditional activities. However, they often have to live in urban areas without basic amenities like uh, uh, shelter and uh, proper food. They live in the slum areas. So that uh, again leads to the urban slum areas. So in tomorrow's class children, we shall learn about uh, how the urban slum areas got created and we shall also understand the lifestyle in the slum areas. Thank you children.